every day. For Latvian, we do, but you know, most. So the problems start in a place we're not thinking about. And then that infects somebody else, and it grows. And the next thing you know, everybody's looking around and saying, oh my God, how'd this happen? You know, but it's, it starts. That's why you need to watch. Whatever happened to the old concept of a decent revolution? We have had two or three governments toppled in the last year. It's small governments, Latvia, you know, some places. The governments have been toppled because of the, the crisis, if you will. Uh, and in my mind, you're going to see social unrest in the United States. You're going to see, uh, you're going to see violence in the United States. No, no, when things, as, as things get worse the next time around, Think there's going to be violence because there's not much. It, when the people realize, a that what the governments have done has been wrong, b it hasn't solved the problems, c it has made the problems worse, you're going to see people unhappy. You're going to see social unrest. You're going to see violence. You you will probably see some more governments toppled. No question about that. That may sound like a radical statement, but it's just the way the world's always worked. I mean, I don't. I just look this stuff up. You can go back and look it up, too, and you will see that there's always been violence. Governments have fallen, and they deserve to fall, especially the ones that have been making these horrible mistakes. Some innocent governments will probably topple as well, but the, but the ones that deserve it will, I hope, will suffer badly. Volgende week in Tegenlicht. General Motors has lost $82 billion since 2004. Wow. It's not really a popular thing to say around Detroit, but I was actually pretty excited. I think that Detroit will rebound. I think it will rise again. Lukte Detroit om het failliet van General Motors te boven te komen? In tegenlicht de doorstart van een hele stad.